We continue to get this question from many of you. Is coronavirus airborne or is it only spread through droplets on surfaces? As Joe Chiotto shows us, the answer is changing. He has a new look at how this virus moves in tonight's good question. I take my toilet paper and I put it in my cart. And now if you can see, I have all these germs. This video spread about as fast on social media as the virus spreads itself. In it, a nurse uses paint to show the path of everything she's touched in a hypothetical grocery store. You know, I just keep touching everything. Oh, my nose itches here. Let me itch my nose. Okay. Um, oh, now my phone's ringing. It's my mom. She needs me to get her something. Hi. Hello. Hi, mom. It shows just how easy transmission of the virus can occur. Coronavirus droplets are relatively heavy. Oh, my goodness, look at, look at all this bacteria. So the majority of the virus falls to the ground or surface after a cough or sneeze. You can see eventually the nurse has paint everywhere. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your dirty phone. This new study out of Nebraska Medicine echoes that exact thought. Doctors found widespread contamination of the environment near patients with COVID-19. Toilets, cell phones, personal items, countertops, doorknobs. But for the first time, it's also showing us something more. The study that we've uh, just published is very important in that we are finding some evidence of the virus uh, in the air. That's uh, Nebraska Medicine infectious disease expert Dr. Mark Rupp. He says their research shows high levels of the virus in COVID-19 patients' rooms and in the hallways outside those rooms. It's not clear how infectious those droplets in the air are, if they are at all. Doctors stress it does not confirm the virus spreads in an airborne fashion. Simply put, there's now limited evidence that the potential exists. Uh, so there's a lot yet that we need to learn about. Uh, but it is something that's giving us pause and something that uh, we are, again, trying to be responsible with. So what does this mean for you? Well, until more studies are done, your best line of defense continues to be wash those hands. But for healthcare workers, this reconfirms suspicion that there is potential for the virus to move around. Nebraska Medicine says this is why it's so important for doctors and nurses, anyone on the front lines to wear protective equipment and treat their patients in negative pressure rooms with no airflow just in case. Joe Chiotto, KCTV 5 News.